Mixed in with the fun, the people of the fair were able to teach both children and adults a thing or two. I think the the pet, the farm here for the kids, it's good. It uh, same thing. It educates them a little bit about how an animal and how seeds and everything come to fruition and get harvested and end up on the end up on the plate for somebody to eat and and feed the world. Probably the most most interesting one was the the. Um, Veterinary col the college, the S University of Saskatchewan College of Veterinary Medicine. Now those those uh, those vets were, you know, showing us X-rays, showing us what a baby looks like inside the uterus, and and uh, I think that was probably the most interesting one for the kids and the adults. It's pretty educational. The purpose of this event is to introduce the culinary students and the hospitality students into the world of beer and food bearing. Well, there's quite a bit of planning ahead. Uh, the hospitality students have to research the beers, purchase the beers, and then both groups come together, they uh, taste the beers, and then they begin pairing food that goes that go with the beer. Here at the Assiniboine Community College, students from both Brandon University and ACC gathered to unwind and draw. I specialize in illustration, uh, drawing, inking, um, largely cartoons, um, comic books, but I am going for a Bachelor of Fine Arts. We get to enjoy doing what everyone is doing in a single room so that we all can just have fun. Um, usually things are slower, things are more deliberate. Uh, you gotta take your time, take that extra second to, uh, to think so uh, safety first, you never wanna get hurt. And obviously you want to wear as many layers as you can. Usually I want to jump in to get warm, so if there's work to be done, I want to jump in and do it so I can warm up. But in my position, I got to stand back. I got to watch, make sure that no one's getting hurt, make sure that they're doing the right drills. Uh, so I'm mostly freezing most of the time. The morale's like a roller coaster. It goes up, it goes down. Uh, you can't have it too high because things get neglected. And you can't have it too low because uh, you got to look after your troops. Training-wise, it has its ups and downs, obviously. Uh, depending on the mission, we need to train in the summer, but we need to train in the winter depending on whatever can happen in the future, right? 